Hmm. Rest and go. You come and you rest. You go. You give us money. Welcome, drink. Alright, what am I doing? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Let's do... Mm, yeah, let's do this. Other magic looking in class shop for old records. Oh, so I gotta go to her anyway. Okay, so let me not do this right now. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Jesus. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? Listen here, moon face. That's not like a side quest. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. What's up? I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Sure are. Shut the fuck up. See him for we could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Mm. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you hey. know something I don't about Side dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Coming for you later. Nice. Mac Reed. I want to blast him with the board the, patrol nicked a friend of the pew pew. Accuser of piracy. Shit. What it? Greasy. What up, Greasy? RT greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home style consumable protein dispensary. Baby's unit dispense protein for your ingestion. Hmm. I'm good. Maybe later. Did I just sell all my shit? I think I did, right? I did. Wait, what? Or maybe I didn't. Oh, I got this stuff. Kind of heavy. Oh. I really shouldn't be using. Ooh, dialogue skills. Damn, I can make 19 bucks off of this. Oh. Sure. You know what? We're doing it. You know what, greasy? Meals come with everything. Give me, give me them greasy here. dollars. Condiments sold separately. Some assembly of complex witch style meals may be required. Baby's unit dispense protein for your ingestion. No. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. God, you're creeping me out. Oh, and you can fix my shit? My man, Greasy. Alright, first off. Mm, fuck it, goodbye. Uh, I should give this to... Or no. Sorry, already tried that, okay. And goodbye. Money, haha. How can I buy off this dude? Shit, that doesn't do nothing for me. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, no. Oh, bye. Peace, Grease. Peace in the Grease. I have a man's head to collect. Macreed. Were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back yes. away now, or you'll parley with the king. Gotcha. Time to feed the flames. Nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, 
I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Hmm. Put that down so I can intimidate or persuade. I'm gonna persuade him. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Hmm. Oh. Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead? Rare or medium? What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? Mm. My flame? Shit. A little flick here got me started on the pyro path. <laughs> Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Don't worry, Mr. McRed. We'll treat Mr. Flick extra nice on account of he's your friend. You call your lighter Little Flick? I'll miss my baby pyro. But it beats losing my head. This court needs its king. And I'm one of a kind. Sanita? Uh... Keen eyes you got there. Sanita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back. And she wanted me to have something to remember by... Hmm. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to Sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Hmm. Am I your dark reflection? Shit. Must be getting old. God, you know, I was really gung-ho about killing these guys, but now I forgot that he didn't really do anything that bad. The second floor is my place. Off limits to the likes of you. Whatever business brings you hmm. down to my domain, keep it local. So I can't, like, just walk in. Too bad. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Yeah, just... Oh, never mind. Interesting. Yours, Carlos. Old bunch of helper pipes. Red. Huh. Can't take that. Mechanical. Can I get in this? Would I have to fight this if I start shooting? If I start blasting? Can you imagine being frozen for ten years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Yes. Let's see where I end up. Fuck. Oh, okay. Did I talk to you already? I bet I already talked to you. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little <laughs> like you? Well, that's convenient. Okay, well, the f that didn't really go well. I'm gonna save myself. Kinda want the XP though. Does that make me bad?
Damn, I did not last long there. Maybe I shouldn't try this, but now I feel like... Let's be a little bit more tactical. How about that? Right, form up. Form up. Is this going to explode? Well, we're going to find out. Okay. I think I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. I don't know what is jacking my beating my ass, but I am taking this. Maybe I need to just kill him first. He seems to do the most damage. Yeah, right, we haven't tried that yet. Good. What is that? Shit. I'm trash. One, I'm trash. That's clearly part of the reason here. One, how about I use a gun that's gonna murder him? How about that? Like this. Oh, and I'm not using this enough. Why is he not dying? Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, maybe I can't kill him. I give up. You win. Still taking this stuff, though. Hell yeah. Shout out to not playing on super hard challenge mode. Where every time you fucking do anything wrong, you have to restart and rip out fucking eyebrow hairs or fucking pluck butthole hairs. BNP Bork Pocket. Can be macro in two and a half seconds. Bork Pocket. Uh, no. Good thing I could use my tongue. My lips and mouth. Get the job done. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided... If you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Mm. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Here's the bounty payout. Ha -ha. Nice work down there. With any Lying. luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Yeah, <laughs> you betcha. Now, what do we want to do? What is this? Sure, we'll do this. Oh, my legs. What seems to be the problem? Let me in. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, hmm. you may not see her. We'll see about that. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. <laughs> Can I buy stuff? Not without you? dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Hmm. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, 
as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Shit. Take care. Monopolizing. Monopolizing motherfuckers. Can I take this? Are you gonna be mad if I go here? Probably. Damn, you like his twin? Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Hmm. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. I don't think I'm... I thought I was doing the mission to... Wait. I thought I was trying to see that chick. Yeah, whatever. I mean, they just kind of let me in, so whatever. Sick boy nurse. <coughs> Ew, ew. COVID. Oh, can't go in there. Oh, she's probably in quarantine. Oh, score. Moving trains to the women's that person I'll see in interior. Oh my god. Da -da -da. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed? Uh Sway, okay. Oh, yep, totally fucking doing the wrong thing. Salvager in the sky? Talk to you, da, 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 da. yes, this one. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me in. For the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You ho-headed quacks, do you know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. Mm. I'm just terrible, dreadful, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. You got Zika. Should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. <laughs> Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe not. Let's go. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it, and I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. As we get for in a stupid Surely ass hat. Surely wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. See? <laughs> or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? True. All right, well. That was easy. Nice to meet you. 
That's a nice little mechanic. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Hmm. Yeah, no one wants to watch around. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Oh, shit. Well, mostly. Yeah, I don't want to do this yet. This is fucking mission bullshit. Uh, well, I guess I have to. And then talk to the other person, too. Meh, 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 meh. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it. You... Look at you. Has oh. something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? <laughs> I'm going to wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. Hell yeah. Phineas Wells. Oh, fuck. No. Fuck, fuck this guy. Haha. <laughs> Sure. There's no need for hysterics. This is all a hilarious misunderstanding. I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Okay, my shit back, sucker. Important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. Oh my god, that was easy. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist. A Ooh. thief. A madman. It's really in the colony's Fucking best interest space that we stop him before he does further harm. Hmm. Well. That's... Uh, well. That's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? This guy looks like a Weasley. Oh, will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else? I, I hate spiders. I think that was Ron's shit or something like that. But, but, I'm sorry. What's this? Ba, 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 ba. Boom. <laughs> Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Oh my god. Boom. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Well, Miss Doyle is deep. Don't wear debt, ugly hats. And the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I'll kill you both. <laughs> sure. Hmm. I'm not sure the price of her organs will allow a profit in that case. I expect her liver is uh, used goods, as it were. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? All right. Wait, can I get more shadows, douche? Get me to Stellar Bay. Oh, good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Me. All right, Ask fuck away. you. I'm out of here. Hey. Kill all you guys. You're trash. All right, let's all up. Boom, boom. I'm not really feeling heavy weapons. I like I like these. Well, we got seven points. Yeah, okay. Dialogue. 
Stealth. Tech. Tech. Stealth. Dialogue. I'll go one. There we go. Shazam. Alright, let's go let her know that we sold her into slavery. But hey, that's what you get for owing money. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to uh, make sense. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Oh, yeah. Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Ooh. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in a box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Ooh. You won't be sorry, though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nav a cabin with a view. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. Damn straight. Alright. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night? Yeah. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. Yeah. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. True. You sure saved my skin, stranger. Oh, wow, All you're grateful. All between me and Ellie are cleared. Dope. All right, well, peace. That worked out. I thought she was going to be like, Wee, I have a job now. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I got to go to a different planet for that one. Uh, sure, let's do this. Empty boy. Can I go there this way? Nope. How do I change? I'm going. All right, I'm on my way. Sure. How do I? Okay. How do I switch to the left bump? Controls. Aim block, emergency medicinal inhaler. Next, hold weapon or no. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I need to go through. What's this? Skrr? I think I already had one of those, but... Do, 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 do. I'm just a normal guy. Doing normal guy things. How do I get in there? How do I get in? Don't mind me. <laughs> you didn't see that. This is not where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, this is where... This is how I snuck, snuck in originally. Well, I'm gonna climb down so I don't break my goddamn ankles. Ooh. Oh, nice. No, fuck, I fell for it again. Smart it. So I need to go in here. Uh -huh. Understood. No 
now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Oh, they get... Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cool! Dude, gang, 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 Alright, peace, nerds. You didn't even notice. Alright, what do I gotta do? I gotta talk to this bozo? Alright, what's up? Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Oh, uh, yes. Here. So almost I'm There's getting kind of like it's like Fallout, Fallbrook. but then a little bit the of Mass Effect with the fucking the squad ship. vibes. I like I should it. Have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Perception. Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding them. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Hmm. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you God, spend as got many a hours as for, I have in for, contemplation for of the good cinnamon secrets, rolls, you sometimes get a sense for these things. I recently got some cinnamon rolls for Pizza Hut and fucking bleh. I wasn't impressed. I ate most of them because, you know, I'm not going to waste them. I spent money on them, but I don't know. Cinnabon. I'd be I would be pissed at Pizza Hut. They're not doing you doing you justice. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Hey, how about you shut your fucking pie hole? Track down original Cheney. Okay, so that one. My cargo All right. a lot of money. Keep thinking I can slide. No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes, and then you're saying why. I just want to have this conversation. Pretend you see me. Of course you do. Hell yeah. Now that's chemistry. I thought there'd be more machinery. Must mm. be housed on a sub level. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal Got introduction. Vampire eyes. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I am Berdi. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Berdi. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardix, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Berdi. Um, yeah. At ease. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. <laughs> so what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Statistics don't lie. We see a lot of the same faces <laughs> coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate brats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Fuck the corpse. What? I didn't think you just Parvati, is it? Parvati. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual real spaceships, Miss Junlei. A uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. <laughs> Poke. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Shit. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Uh... Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. 
Nice. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Nice. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you can find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. You've got my attention. Uh... You're right, I don't. Mm. The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Bits. I like to think of myself as a nice person. But if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. Oh. The board wants control over ground Let him burn. And leeches like Udam Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. All right. You got my attention. Yeah, no quest for me. Done. Done with you. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay. Anything in? Let's talk to this person. And then, yeah. I need to get up there, sublight. CNC chicken and potatoes at CNC. We know our hmm. CNC. Question is, how do I get up there? Hmm. Oh, probably over here. We got a name? Nope. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Well, this should prove interesting, to say the least. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand oh. plan. By contemplating the teleolog... Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. What happened to your face? You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Mm. Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. <laughs> It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Arthorn was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. <laughs> I didn't kill him. Just immediately say that. It wasn't me. Uh <laughs> don't let ADA hear you calling her ship names. Uh I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but there's a catch. You gotta let me peg there's you. Always a catch. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. Ooh, goodies. I like if there's any Oops. These days the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors. 
where I can let my hair down. Alright, bye. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna read your diary in front of you. <laughs> Shouldn't do this. Not gonna let me anyway. Hooray! What? You implied? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame You're old, old, Vicar. You're old. Speak with. Wait, I just did. Okay, gotcha. So... We can do this now. No worries. The captain and I will take care of business. I need neither your advice nor your pity. Very pretty anxious into re-asking you. Ooh, can we rest up there, bro? What up? How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Hmm. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Okay. You're weird. You must be Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Hmm, you're sassy. Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Huh. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Discount? Ooh, or I could just... Pay her the money. Yeah. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms, mm. do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. <laughs> I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. True. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Hmm, winky face. <laughs> I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Okay. More importantly, what can I kill you? Uh, yeah, I haven't picked up anything, so I don't know what I'm doing. What? This does what? Holy shit. 660 damage? Oh my god. How much? 5 Gs? Great boy! Yes. Shit, that's Any all I wanted. 
If you're here for this week's... What are you... Uh... Groundbreak. Chief Jun Lei Tenet. Then what are you asking me about her for? Bit straight laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce too. A fighter. Fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. Hmm. This heat problem we've got's gone unfixed for weeks. Can't say I know what the holdup is, but I'm sure she's trying her best. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Let us. Do that because I don't want to just give her all my money. Oh. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler. But she's no match for your pal Gladys. Damn. Is this the science weapon? Some species. Did I? Is this it? Is this it? Why can't I buy this? Let's look at the mission. Hmm. Gracious. I was just sitting. Well, I, I wonder if I can just buy it anyway. How much? Oh, you cannot purchase the restricted stock. Well, how do I unrestrict it? Maybe I... Any I'm probably gonna... Pardon me. Probably gotta do her mission. Maybe that'll loosen the lips. Alright, well, in that case, I need to... Do that. Off this turd canoe. This is Halcyon. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Why in the architect's name would you say that? Shit. It's just that you're real grouchy. Are you kind of all the time? I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just irritated by an. Hey, this guy. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Ugh. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Hmm. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. I'm sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is, a uh, it's a work in progress. 
Uh, sure, fuck it. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Oh my god, I'm gonna regret it. You're such a goober. I'll just... Really? Look at that. A real vi... Oops. Didn't mean to skip that. Anyway. Just Vicar being a douche. Douche like huge. The huge douche. Alright, let's talk to... Uh... Hello? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. Let's talk to Pavarotti. I take our ship's security highly seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, huh. I'm pretty sure. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. What? I don't want to get too hopeful, but... I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and... I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. Hmm. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. So you're like, uh... Who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Uh, whatever, man. That's right. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. Who's. Who's Isabel? They were. Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. What? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could I'm so we, confused. Like, this started out as, like, I want to work for her, and now it's like, are we going to, we're going right hope? to, like, okay, we're going to date? It just seems a little fast. Drinking solves everything. Maybe for you, I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start crawling up my throat. Hmm. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Oh, yeah, baby. I thought it was going to have me be like... Go work for her. Get better at building things and fixing things further your career but I t that took a turn that I wasn't ready for anywho I'm gonna level up Yes, let's tinker in. Is 
that how I get fucking? Uh oh, someone's summoning me. Summoning Jitsu. No thanks, I deny. Oh crap. No, did it restart? I didn't. E. Alright. Uh. Sure, we'll do it there. Excepto. Alright. Ooh, okay, that's kind of nice. Ooh, I like that. Kind of like that. Ooh, that's probably helpful because I don't regenerate health. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, now I gotta level up these nerds. I just go straight for the... No, I only have one. <laughs> Ooh, damn, my boy got the big gun. Ooh, he makes my persuasion better, I like that. What does she do? She makes my engineering better. What does Vicar do? Hack. He makes my hack better. Okay. What else can I do? Track down Reginald Cheney. Let's go have, I guess, have to drink. Screw it. Good luck, Captain. Ada, go, go, go to sleep. Go to sleep, right? Oh, shit. We're gonna take Vivardi, Felix. That's how it's gonna be, baby.